Congratulations, you finished your uh, CS First project. Now you need to record a Screencastify video to, uh, uh, to turn it on Screencastify. So I would start by making this full screen so you can see the full screen. Then you're gonna go back to Google Classroom. You're going to click on the Screencastify link. This is where you're gonna add Screencastify. Then you're going to click on Add to Chrome, boom. Then you're gonna say Add Extension. Then it's going to add this small little icon right here in the corner. There it is, so that little orange icon. Once it's been added, click on that orange icon and then it's gonna take you through a sign-in process. You're gonna sign in with Google. You're gonna click on your name instead of having to remember your username and password. Then it's going to ask you to allow access to your drive so it can save your videos there. We're gonna allow this so all of your videos will be saved to your Google Drive. Then we need to allow the microphone and the camera, so click next, and then we need to click allow. Don't click deny. And then you gotta click allow again because Chrome needs to confirm that. So allow. Then, it, then you're gonna say, I am a student. And then, are you under or over 13? Um, under. So, put your age. Then, it's gonna show you a demonstration video. You guys can watch that on your own. But the main point is now that we have Screencastify, we can click this icon on whatever project you're doing. This doesn't have to be for coding. Uh, enable that webcam and choose what corner you want your face to be in. Oops. So like, where do you want it? Um, bottom right corner. Bottom right, okay, so let's stick with the bottom right. Then you're gonna click record, but it's not gonna record, it's gonna have this pop-up window. When you click share, uh, you're going to record your video in 15 to 30 seconds or however long your teacher assigns you, and then you click share. It's gonna count down three, two, one, and then you're gonna record your video. So you talk, you point, you can even use some of these tools down here to maybe focus on a particular area of your project, or you can even draw with a particular color so you can talk about, oh yeah, this duck, amazing. Now it's not drawing on your project, it's just drawing in the video. When you're done, you need to click this stop button, or you can go up here, I think it's easier to click the stop button because when you click on that, it takes a while to open. You can pause it if you need a breath or just click stop to end your project. Then it's gonna open up a second tab and it's going to play this whole thing and there's my face in the corner. If you like it, you wanna name it over here. So click on that and then you're gonna click, you know, whatever you want the name to be. Then you're gonna click save, then uh, if you don't like it, click on that trash can and try it again. Now that this video is saved, you can go back to whatever Google Classroom assignment you're working on, go to the bottom, click this Add button, click Google Drive because every all these videos are saved in your drive. You're going to select the video, it should be under Recent, click Add, and then you're going to turn in the assignment. Boom, and then and boom. boom. But that video was horrible, so I'm going to X out and he's going to make a better one. And that's how you turn in your Screencastify video on Google Classroom.